All right. So thank you for joining me on this lovely Sunday. We're gonna do a 60 minute yoga class today. The style of yoga that we're doing is called 26 and two yoga. It's the same set of 26 postures and two breathing exercises every time. So the more you do it, the more meditative it becomes, the more familiar you become with the sequence. This style of yoga is traditionally done in an 105 degree room. And if you, like me, do not have access to a super hot room right now, we're gonna do a warm up before we hop into 26 and two yoga, just to warm up the body. So we're gonna do three rounds of sun salutations that are not part of 26 and two yoga, and then we'll hop into that. So for the sun salutations, come towards the top of your mat with your feet together. I'm gonna stand back and show you in periphery. Um, and with the sun salutations and with all of um, the yoga postures that we're gonna do, it's okay for things to be challenging, but if you're ever like gritting your teeth or in pain, that's when you know that it's time to ease off. I will try to give you different um, variations and modifications so that everybody can have a great class. So for the three rounds of sun salutations, top of your mat, bring your feet close together. Take a moment just to stand up tall with your shoulders down. Take a slow inhale and a slow exhale. Okay, so we'll begin with three rounds of Surya Namaskar A Sun Salutation. Bring your hands together at heart center in prayer. And begin as you inhale, lift your arms up, looking up as if you were saluting or greeting the sun. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward, put your hands on the floor and drop your head. Inhale into a halfway lift with your back flat. You can have your hands on your thighs, your shins, or eventually the floor in front of you. Exhale, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor and step back into a high plank. And if high plank doesn't work for you today, no problem, come down into tabletop. From here, we're gonna do kind of like a uh, push up. So you're gonna hug your elbows into your sides and lower down halfway. Inhale, come up into a back bend. You can do baby cobra with elbows bent and thighs on the floor or up dog with arms straight and thighs off the floor. As you exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog. Bend one knee, straighten the other. Try to get your heels to the floor, hips to the ceiling, drop your head down. Now, if down dog doesn't feel right for your body today, no problem, take a child's pose instead. Come down onto your shins, reach your arms forward and sink your hips down. So every plank can be a tabletop, every down dog can be a child's pose, and if that motion in between where we lower down and do a back bend, if that doesn't feel right for your body, skip it. Go straight from your tabletop or plank directly into your child's pose or down dog. So lots of options. On your next inhale, look forward, hands on the floor, and step forward into a halfway lift. Again, you can have your hands on your thighs, your shins, or the floor in front of you. Exhale, bend your knees and relax your head down. Inhale, reach your eyes, come on up, arms up, looking up overhead. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Good, two more. Inhale, lift your arms up, looking up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward, drop your head. Inhale, look forward into a halfway lift, back flat, weight in your toes. Exhale, stomach in, hands to floor, step back into your high plank or child's pose, or any high plank or tabletop. Remember that you can go from your plank or tabletop directly into your child's pose or down dog, or you can take a vinyasa, hug your elbows in, lower down halfway. Inhale, come up into your back bend. If you're doing up dog with arms straight, you wanna get your thighs off the floor. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, down dog. Bend one knee, straighten the other, and then try to get your heels down. Spread your fingers wide, root down through all 28 knuckles, especially the space between your index finger and thumb. Push down there, take a slow inhale and a slow exhale. Inhale, look forward, step forward into your halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees and relax your head down. Inhale, come on up, arms up, overhead, looking up as if you're saluting the sun. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Good, last one. Inhale, lift your arms up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward, drop your head. Inhale, look forward, halfway lift. Exhale, keep looking forward, hands to floor, step back into your plank, keep exhaling, lower down. Inhale, come up into your back bend. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog, or for child's pose, sink your hips down, head to the floor, reach your arms forward. For down dog, press your heels down, contract your thighs, 
push the floor away from you. To get your heels closer to the floor, you might want to take a slightly wider step. Take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, look forward, step forward, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, drop your head. Inhale, root to rise, circle your arms up, looking up overhead. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Good, so that was our little warm up. From here, we'll hop into traditional 26 and two yoga. So come to the middle of your mat and towel, bring your feet together, toes, heels touch. Interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, and glue your knuckles underneath your chin. We begin this, this sequence of yoga with a breathing exercise. You'll inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Okay, so weight in the heels, look straight ahead and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up. Breathe in through your nose, lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, exhale through your mouth, H-A, sound. Drop your head back, reach your arms forward, elbows touch. Good, inhale, chin down, slowly bring your chin down. Look straight ahead, lift your elbows all the way up, fill up your lungs, you've got it. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back, Look way, way, way back for the wall behind you. Stretch your arms forward. Elbows touch away from your body. Inhale, head down. Breathe in through your nose. Down through your throat to the very bottom of your lungs. Exhale, head up. As you exhale, imagine you're fogging up a mirror on the ceiling. Reach your arms forward. Elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Keep the weight in your heels. Lift your kneecaps. Squeeze your thighs. Squeeze your butt. Lock your legs. Exhale, head up, weight stays in your heels. Just your head relax back. Stretch your arms forward, bring your elbows together to touch. Inhale, head down. This is the last breath in the first set. Spine a little longer, elbows a little higher, lungs a little fuller. Suck your stomach in, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up, take your time. Eyes open, hips forward, legs locked, stomach in. Keep exhaling, push, squeeze, elbows touch. Good, change, arms down. We do two of almost everything. Second set might be more familiar. Maybe you can breathe deeper. Feet together, interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, glue your knuckles underneath your chin. I'll show you from the side. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, grow taller out of the base of your spine and begin, inhale, chin down and arms up, breathe in through your nose, lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, exhale through your mouth, slowly head back, slowly arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Keep your spine straight from the side, shoulders down, chest up, stomach in. Exhale, head up. Use your knuckles to push your head back. Squeeze your palms together, wrists together, forearms, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. As you inhale, open your rib cage wide. Expand your rib cage, expand your lung capacity. Exhale, even as you exhale, stomach in, eyes open, look back, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. This is the last breath. Second set, make it the deepest breath of your life. When your lungs are totally full, surprise yourself. Take in one more sip of air. Exhale, head up. Take your time. Let everything go through the exhale breath. Any worries, any cares, let them go. Be here now. Elbows touch. Good. Change. Arms down. You can roll out your shoulders and head. We'll continue with half moon with hands to feet pose. Feet together, inhale your arms over your head sideways, palms together, interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs so it's like Charlie's Angels hands, nice tight grip, stretch up out of your waist and bend right and left, right and left. Every time you pass through the middle, reach up a little taller. Good, okay, stop in the middle. It's a little bit of a warm up. Bring the weight into your heels, press your hips forward, squeeze your palms together, bring your head and arms back. Inhale, breathing, stretch up out of your waist, try to touch the ceiling. Exhale, breathing, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows and knees, continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the left side of your body all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes. Just remember it's the first posture of the day and there's no rush, know where you have to be, Nothing you have to prove to yourself or to anyone else. All you have to do is breathe in and out through your nose. Let your breath be your guide. As you inhale, lengthen your arms. As you exhale, come down, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up and stop in the middle. 
press your hips forward, squeeze your palms together, bring your arms back with your ears. Inhale, stretch up out of your spine. Exhale, slowly bend to the left as you push your hips to the right. And it's worth noting that I'm not mirroring you, so it might look like I'm bending to the right when in fact I'm bending to the left. You are welcome to follow my words or my body. Just know that in this style of yoga, we will usually do the right side of postures first. So press your right hip forward, get your two hips in line, and then bring your left shoulder forward, two shoulders in one line. Come down, push and push and push. Change, inhale to come up, first back bend of the day. I'll show you from the side. It's a little bit hard for me to talk and do at the same time, so I'll show you and then I'll tell you. Take a deep breath, full lungs, keep your eyes open, relax your head back as far as it goes. Maybe give your head a gentle shake, look for the floor behind you, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, and immediately bring your arms back with your ears, try to touch the wall behind you. So bend your total spine backward, bending from coccyx to the neck, lower back, middle back, and upper back. Bend your total spine backward, bending. Try to fall down backwards. You've got it. Push your hips forward, and then bring your arms back. Look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Good. Change. Inhale to come up. Stretch up. Exhale. Bend your knees. Go down. Put your hands on the floor. Relax your head. You can bend your knees a lot, and then go for a walk. Move your hips. Shake your head. This is a U-turn from back bending to forward folded. At the beginning of class, your spine might not be quite warmed up yet. Move your hips to get your lower back nice, relaxed, comfortable, easy, flexible. This is Padasasana hands to feet pose. Bend your knees, touch your stomach to your thighs. You can grab the backs of your calves, your Achilles. Eventually, grab your heels from underneath. Roll forward like a wheel and wrap your elbows back behind you. Touch stomach to thighs. Chest to knees, relax your head down, bring your face to your shins, pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, lift your hips up, push your knees back, pull a little more, lengthen your spine down to the floor. Good, change, come on up, arms with your ears, knees can bend as you come up, nice, arms down, and you stand a little taller, that's the whole goal, just standing a little taller. Second set, feet together, inhale, arms overhead, palms together, interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, hips forward, arms back, stretch up and slowly bend to the right as you push your hips to the left. Mouth closed, eyes open, focus forward. If your eyes are wandering, your mind is wandering, let this be an hour just for you. Bring the weight back into your heels, push your hips a little more forward, upper body back, biceps with your ears. Push your left hip forward, keep your two hips in line. Now bring your right shoulder forward, two shoulders in line. You want your chest and hips facing the front of your yoga mat. Come down, push, lock your arms, come down, push, lock your legs, come down, push. Change, inhale to come up, hips forward, arms back, stretch up, and slowly bend to the left as you push your hips to the right without bending your elbows or knees. The knees or elbows are bending, come up a little bit, contract your left thigh as much as your right thigh, press your left arm into your ear, press your right arm into your ear and bring the weight back into your heels. Right hip forward, two hips in line, left shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming, come down, push and push and push. Change, inhale to come up, second heart opener. Take a deep breath, keep your eyes open and relax your head back as far as it'll go. Look for the floor behind you, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, and immediately bring your arms back with your ears. Imagine you're tracing your fingers along the ceiling down the back wall. So keep your chest lifted, eyes open, weight in your heels. Lock your legs, push stomach, thighs, hips forward, and bring your arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Change, inhale to come up, stretch up first. Exhale, stomach in, bend your knees, fold forward. Put your hands on the floor, drop your head down, go for a walk. We get this nice rush of blood to the head after that backward bend. Move your hips, shake your head. Second set, here we go. Bend your knees, grab the backs of your legs or your heels from underneath. Roll forward like a wheel and bend your elbows back behind you. Try to touch elbows together behind you. Stomach to thighs, chest to knees. Let your head go, touch your face to your shins. Below your knees, no room for light and air between the upper and lower body. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, and lift your hips up. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine to the floor. 
pulling is the object of stretching. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the back of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes with a smiling, happy face. Roll forward more, lift your hips up, push your knees back, try to lock your legs. Good, change, come on up, arms with ears, knees can bend. Nice, arms down and you let that go. Awkward, Ukatasana, step your right foot to the right, six inches, hip width distance, insides of your feet parallel. This is called chair pose, it's a bit like a squat. Bring your arms up, parallel to the floor, tricep muscles tight. Suck your stomach in, bend your knees and sit back and down into a chair. Feet flat position, spine straight to begin with, 100% of your body weight in your heels. Sit down halfway only, hips into a chair. Drop your shoulders, suck your stomach in, now lift your chin up, chest up. Lean back, fall back, way back, try to fall down backwards at the end. Change, inhale to come up, keep your arms there. Push your hips forward, spread your toes wide. Now come up all the way on your tiptoes. Lift your heels, we're starting to play with balance. Stretch up first, bend your knees, sit down. Lean back as you sit, keep lifting your heels up, knees up, stomach in, sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change, inhale to come up. Last part, keep your arms there. Squeeze your knees together, knees together, let your heels come a little bit off the floor and slowly sit down. Stop whenever you want, keep the knees together, eventually sitting all the way down. Doesn't have to be today or tomorrow. Knees together, stomach in, lift your chest, good. Change, slowly push the floor away from you. Nice, heels down, right foot back, arms down. I'll show you second set from the side. So step your right foot to the right about six inches, not too big of a step, insides of your feet parallel. Arms up, parallel to the floor, triceps tight. Suck your stomach in, three, two, one, bend your knees, sit back and down. So the first part's like a gym squat. You wanna stick your butt out and fold your chest forward. The more you bring your hips back, the easier it is to sit down. From here, stomach in, start to lean your upper body back. Relax your jaw, drop your shoulders, lift your chin up, chest up, change. Inhale to come up, keep your arms there. Second part, push your hips a little forward and now come up all the way on your tiptoes. Stretch up first, bend your knees, sit down. So for the second part, rather than sticking your butt out and leaning forward, you wanna push your hips forward and lean back. Heels a little higher, stomach in, knees a little higher, sit down one more inch, change. Inhale to come up. Last part, squeeze your knees together. Let your heels come just a little bit off the floor and slowly sit down to a count of 10 in your head. Remember, you can stop whenever you want. The slower you do, the better you do. That's where you build the strength, the balance, the control. Stop when you're half inch off your heels, engage your abdominal wall and change. Slowly push the floor away from you. Good, heels down, right foot back, arms down. Eagle pose, Garasana. Look at your arms, identify which arm is right, which arm is left, don't mix them up. We're gonna do the right side first. Inhale your arms over your head. Exhale, bring your right arm under your left arm, right under left. Um, you can grab your shoulders and give yourself a hug. Eventually, you'll wrap and interlace your fingers or even bring hands in prayer, thumbs towards your nose. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit down. Lean back and bring your right leg over your left leg, right leg, over left leg. Start to point your right toes towards your left calf muscle. Eventually, wrap your right foot behind your left calf muscle. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, arch your upper body back. Good, change. Feet together, arms over your head. We'll do the left side. Bring your left elbow under right elbow. So wrap first at the elbows, again at the wrists if you can, but at first just the elbows giving yourself a hug. Perfect, Evan. Pull elbows down, bend your knees, sit down. Keep your hips down low without lifting your hips. Can you bring your left leg over your right leg? You got it. Cross your legs, twist like ropes, and breathe. Notice as you wrap your legs if your knees want to twist to the right. Bring your knees to the left, upper body to the right, weight back in your heel, lean your upper body back. Good. Change. Feet together, arms over your head, right into second set. Bring your right arm under your left arm, right under left, palms together, pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit down, stay down there, and bring your right leg over your left leg. Think hamstring over quadricep, cross twist. On this side, bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left, sit down more, bring the weight back into your heel, 
Arch your upper body back, lean back. Good, change. Feet together, arms over your head. Last one, finish strong. Bring your left arm under your right arm, left under right, palms together. Pull elbows down, bend your knees, sit low. Get low, get low, get low. <laughs> Bring your left leg over your right leg. Cross, twist, and breathe. In my old yoga studio, there was literally a window and a wall, and it was so fun to quote that classic American tune. Bring your knees to the left, upper body to the right, sit a little bit lower, pull your elbows down, arch your upper body back at the end. Good, change feet together, arms over your head, arms down, party time. Grab a sip of water if you want. Cheers. This is our only official water break in this style of yoga, but you're always welcome to take a break or drink water as you see fit. When we're not in a 105 degree room, I think the desire for, for a lot of water is a little bit less, which is nice, less of a distraction. So for the next three postures, we continue to balance on one leg. If you fall out, that's really normal, just hop back in. One day you'll balance for one second, the next day two seconds, eventually you can balance for a minute. Shift your weight to your left leg and you're gonna lock your left leg. So lift your left kneecap up, contract your left quadricep. Lift your right leg up, point your toes, flex your toes, keep your toes flexed back. This is a great way to stretch your Achilles. You have an option to stay here, or as you're ready, you're gonna start to round forward and eventually pick up your right foot. All 10 fingers interlocked, webbing to webbing grip. This is the setup, you're welcome to stay here. If you've been coming for a while and you know your left leg is locked, no bend, no wobble. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently lift your right leg up. Stretch it forward until your right leg is exactly parallel to the floor. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles. One day elbows go below your calf muscles. Lock your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee. Change, slowly reverse out. Shift your weight to your right leg. Evenly distribute your body weight on your right foot. Lift your left thigh up. Point your left toes. Flex your left toes, keep your left toes flexed back. Everybody's stomach in, super strong core. Option to stay here or start to round forward. Maybe at first just having hands on either sides of the knee, the shin, eventually pick up your foot, all 10 fingers locked. Standing legs should be solid, concrete one piece, lamp post unbroken. You have no knee when you're ready, slowly lift your left leg up. And it's a real kick, kick your heel forward, flex your toes back, you're training your Achilles to stretch. If both legs lock, puff up chest and bend elbows down. If you fall out, always hop back in, fall out five times, hop back in six, never, ever, ever give up. Change, slowly reverse out. Good for you, you can put your hands on your back, do a little back bend, hmm, or an even. Ah. Second set, I will show you from the side. Shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg, lift your right leg up, flex your toes back, suck your stomach in, start to round down and pick up your foot. Like you're about to help your best friend over a fence. Concentrate, meditate, don't forget to have fun. Here we go, lift your right leg up. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. Elbows go below calf muscles. Slowly tuck your chin to your chest. Maybe put your forehead on your knee. Lock your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee. Change, slowly reverse out, just the way you went in. Good, shift your weight to your right leg, evenly distribute your body weight on your right foot, lift your left leg up, flex your toes back, engage your abdominal wall, and round forward. All 10 fingers interlocked. Um, and if you have a tight back, you're welcome to lift your thigh so that you start with your back pretty straight and your knee into your chest. And from here, you kick out. And then you kick your heel forward, um, the part that takes the longest is usually straightening the kicking leg. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles, slowly tuck your chin to your chest. Put your forehead on your knee. Hold wherever you are, five, four, three, two, one. Change, slowly reverse out. Good for you. So that was a forward curl. Next we do a back bend. The next posture is called standing bow. And the grip is a little bit confusing. So if you're new, just listen extra careful. I'll show you from a side angle. So as a beginner for the grip, you're gonna bend one leg and just pick up the, the, your foot from the outside at the ankle. Eventually, you're gonna walk your hand around and grab the inside of your ankle with the shoulder rotating out. So those are the two options, grabbing from the outside or eventually grabbing from the inside. Okay, feet together, bring your right hand up. 
out to the side, reach back. You can grab the outside of your ankle or without turning or twisting your wrist, pick up the inside of your right ankle at the ankle bone. Perfect, left arm up and arm back with your ear. Contract your left quadricep muscle, point your right toes, take a deep breath, stretch up and go for it. Charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up. Slowly come down, bring the body down and the leg up. See the foot come over the top of your head from the side, two heels in line. Kick back and up, two shoulders in line. Body down more, leg up more. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Body down more, leg up more. Kick, kick, kick. Good, change. Slowly kick yourself up. Let's do the other side. Bring your left hand up, out to the left. Give yourself a high five for coming to class today. We reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your left foot. And when we're really tight, you might not be able to pick up your foot just yet. Maybe see if you can uh, slowly pick up the foot. Bring your right arm up, knees together. You can do it. Lock your right leg, point your left toes, take a breath, stretch up, and slowly charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick your left leg back and up. Slowly come down, abdomen parallel to the floor. See the foot come over the top of your head from the side, two heels in line. Kick back and up, two shoulders in line. Touch your chin to your shoulder. Bring the body down and the leg up. Body down more, leg up more. Kick, kick, kick. Good, change. Slowly kick yourself up. Feet together, arms down, take a breath. Second set, bring your right hand up, out to the right, reach back. Pick up the inside of your right foot, knees together, left arm up and back. Lock your left leg, point your right toes, take a deep breath, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, and breathe. Kicking and stretching equal simultaneous 50-50. The harder you kick, you can balance forever, kick really hard. Slowly bring the body down, but it's a back bend, so keep your chest and chin lifted. Chin up more, body down more, big toe up to the ceiling, kick, kick, kick. Change, awesome Elaine, slowly kick yourself up. Last one, bring your left hand up, you can do it. Bring it out to the left, reach back, pick up the inside of your left foot at the ankle, knees together, hips in line, right arm up and back. Block your right leg, point your left toes, take a deep breath, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, and breathe. That's all you have to do, kick into your hand, stretch forward, breathe through your nose. Jaw relaxed, make sure you're breathing, lock your right leg, point your left toes, five more seconds, body down, leg up, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, kick yourself up, good for you. Right away, come to the back of your mat and towel for our last balancing posture for a while. Feet together, balancing stick. Inhale, arms overhead, palms together, interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs and lean back. Step your right foot forward a big step. Lock both legs, shift your weight to your right foot, point your left toes, lift your left foot off the floor and slowly tilt like a slow moving seesaw. Arms, body, head, legs, everything parallel to the floor. From the side, body makes a T like Tom, not a broken umbrella. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Change, left foot down, right foot back, arms back with your ears. Step your left foot forward, lock both legs, point your right toes and tilt. So actively charge your body forward, contract every muscle in your body. You're trying to lengthen your spine. Lock your right leg, lock your left leg, point your right toes, chest down, heel up, stretch. Change, right foot down, left foot back, arms down, drop your shoulders, take a breath. Second set, arms overhead, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, lean back, step your right foot forward, lock both legs, point your left toes, and tilt. So you're trying to give yourself a mini heart attack here so you don't have a bigger one later on in life. Chest down more, heel up more, touch your biceps to your ears, suck your stomach in, stretch, change, left foot down, right foot back, last one, you can do it. Step your left foot forward, lock both legs, point your right toes, and tilt. Can you keep your spine straight from the side? Bring the chest down, heel up, shin forward, arms up, palms together, stretch, stretch, stretch. Change, right foot down, left foot back, arms down. Enough balancing for the next three postures. We're gonna be on two separate legs. 
you're welcome to come to the top of your mat and face the long side of your mat. I will continue to face you. Standing separate leg stretching. This is a great way to stretch our hamstrings and our spine. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, step your right foot to the right. Big step, arms down parallel to the floor. Turn your toes in towards each other. If you have active sciatica, toes point forward. If you don't know what sciatica is, you don't have it. Lock your legs, you can turn your toes in, lift your chest and swan dive forward. Okay, so eventually you're gonna grab your heels from behind, roll forward and touch your forehead to the floor. Now, if you have a long torso and flexible hamstrings, that's not so difficult. However, if you have tight legs or knees, tight hips or long legs, it might be a little harder. You can take a bigger step or a smaller step. Just make sure that you're feeling it in the backs of your legs, not your inner thighs. You want a hamstring stretch. From here, everybody roll forward, bring the weight into your toes. You can grab the outsides of your feet to pull, or you can start with your hand on the, hands on the floor in front of you. Roll forward more, lift your hips up to the ceiling, lock your legs. Good, change, slowly come up. We're gonna keep our feet apart and flow to triangle pose. From here, turn your right foot out, turn it out a half inch more, and take a bigger step. Most people wanna take a wider step here. Okay, we're gonna bend the right leg and lunge. Sit as low as you can. Don't be afraid to take a bigger or smaller step if it helps you sit down more. Keep your hips low to the floor, lean back, and just move your arms. Right elbow in front of the knee, Hover your right fingers between your big and second toe. Looks good. Don't touch the floor. Don't push any weight on the floor. You're stronger than that. Look up to the ceiling. Touch your chin to your shoulder and breathe. Drop your left thigh down. Push your right knee back. Turn. Twist upper body back. Lock your left leg, left foot flat on the floor. Good. Change. Rotate your arms. Straighten your right leg. Right toes in. Left toes out. Make sure your heels are in line. Other side, inhale, bend your left leg and lunge. Sit as low as you can without bending your right knee. So left knee bending, but right leg stays nice, straight, engaged. Sit down, lean back, and move your arms. Just the elbow in front of the knee. Um, you want a nice long diagonal line from your ankle all the way up to the crown of the head. So when the hips are tight and we can't sit down very low, that's okay. Maybe just the wrist or forearm in front of the knee rather than the elbow. So you still get this nice side stretch. Eventually you're gonna sit all the way down, look all the way up, reach your right arm up, lock your right leg, right foot flat on the floor. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your left leg, turn your left toes in and take a slightly smaller step. For this next posture, you want three to four feet between your feet. Bring your arms over your head sideways, palms together, only cross your thumbs. Pick up your toes and face one side of the room. If you're on the long side of your mat, you will face the back of your mat. This posture is called standing separate leg head to knee pose. We're gonna round our spine. Push your left hip forward. Turn your left toes in. Push your left hip forward. Tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Round your spine. Suck your stomach in. Touch your fingers to the floor. Bend your front right leg. Touch your knee and head together. So this is what we call a compression posture. When we touch our knee and head together, we round our whole upper body over half of our lower body. So it's true extension to the spine and true compression to the abdominal wall. Suck your stomach in. Push your forehead into your knee. Lock both legs, hands together. Change, slowly uncurl, as slow as you went in. Arms with your ears, head up last. Pivot on your heels to the other side of the room. Make sure your heels are in line, but not crisscross. Turn your back right toes in, and then you can push your right hip forward until your two hips are in line. Tuck your chin to your chest and go down. So you want two hips in line, two heels in line. Turn back toes in to a 45 degree angle. Chin tucked to chest. You can bend your front leg. You can take a bigger or smaller step. Just touch your knee and head together. And if your knee and head aren't quite touching, that's okay. Just keep coming back. Try your best. Eventually spine opens up and forehead and knee touch. Push your forehead into your knee. Lock both legs. Bring your hands back together. Arms with your ears. Change. Slowly uncurl. Right hip forward. Right shoulder forward. Full stop at the top. Good, pivot on your heels, right foot back, 
arms down. High five. We'll do that same sequence again. Second set stretching, arms over your head. Step your right foot to the right. Big step. Arms down parallel to the floor. Toes in, heels out. Lift your chest and swan dive forward. I'll show you from the side. Stick your butt up all the way down. Eventually grab your heels. Remember, you can also grab the outsides of your feet, your pinky toes, or start with your hands on the floor in front of you. Everybody bring the weight forward into the balls of your feet. Stick your butt up like it's Saturday night, not Sunday afternoon, and bend your elbows back. Elbows to calves, shoulders to ceiling, belly button to spine, roll forward, lift your hips, lock your legs, touch your forehead to the floor, in between your feet. Good, change, slowly come up, press your hips forward to come up. Second set triangle, taking a wider step. Turn your right foot out, bend your right leg and sit down until your right thigh bicep is parallel to the floor. Stay down there and move your arms. Right elbow in front of the knee, hover your right fingers just above your big and second toe. Look up to the ceiling, touch your chin to your shoulder and breathe. Push your left hip forward and down. Push your right knee back with the help of your elbow, turn. Twist upper body back, lock your left leg, keep your left foot flat on the floor. Change. Rotate your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out, two heels in line. Inhale, bend your left leg, sit down, lean back, and move your arms. If you feel like your feet are sliding apart, try to squeeze your heels back together. Feet stay in place, but that's the inner thigh strength we want to engage. Look up towards the ceiling, reach your right arm up, drop your right thigh down, turn, twist upper body back, lock right leg, right foot, flat on the floor, change. Rotate your arms, straighten your left leg, left toes in, arms up, palms together, thumbs cross. Pivot on your heels, turn your back toes in. Push your hips forward one, two, three, four, five times until your hips are in line. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Can you look at your belly button all the way down? You cannot see your right foot all the way down. Stretch your fingers beyond your big and second toe. Remember, you can bend your front leg, just touch knee and head together. Front side compression, throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. Push your left hip forward, keep your two hips in line. Push your forehead into your knee, lift both kneecaps, contract your quads, stomach in, hands together, change. Imagine you're dragging your forehead up your thigh or chest, arms with ears, have a blast. Good. Pivot to the other side of the room. I will show you what it looks like from the front. So you want to turn your back toes in and then you can push that right hip forward until your hips and armpits are facing the front of your mat. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. If you've been practicing for a while, keep your hands together the whole time. You want to go slow. When we go slow, we start to build not just control, but strength and balance. Bend your front leg, Touch knee and head together. Bring your weight to your front foot. Lift your left hip up. Press your right hip forward, forward, forward. Get your two hips in line so both sides of your back are on equally the same. Push your forehead into your knee. Lock both legs, hands together, stomach in. Change, slowly come up. That's where you gain the strength, the balance, the control. Head up last. Good, pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms down. Come to the middle of your mat and towel for hip openers, starting with tree pose. Lock your left leg, lift your right foot off the floor, and start to bring your right knee to the right. At first, you can have your foot on the top of your shin, your knee, your thigh. Eventually, touch your heel to your costume, sole of right foot flat to the ceiling. Slowly, gently let your right knee drop down, never force your knees. Right hand up, and if you can balance, left hand up. Option to stay here. This is a great way to open the knees and work on your balance. You can also try another fun posture called toe stand. It is my favorite posture to fall out of. Suck your stomach in and start to fold forward. Hands to floor, walk your hands forward, lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knees, sit down. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips. Make sure you're breathing. Left hand, right hand, elbows down, spine straight, come a half inch off your heel. Good. When you're ready, hands to floor. You can come up on two feet or eventually you'll reverse out. Lift your hips up to straighten your standing leg and then push your hips forward to come out the way you went in. Change, right leg down, lock your right leg and lift your left leg up. Hold on to your foot from underneath, heel to costume, sole of foot flat to ceiling. Let your left knee drop. 
left hand, and if you can balance right hand. On this side, my foot falls, so I'm gonna continue to hold on to my foot with my hand. Um, we are not symmetrical, and that's okay. We are not butterflies, we are perfectly imperfect, so you're just meeting your body where it is today. You can stay here or flow to toe stand, stomach in, fold forward. Hands to floor, you wanna lean forward like you're gonna do a handstand. Lift your heel, keep leaning forward as you bend your knee to sit down. So the weight is in your arms when you sit, not your knee. Walk your hands back, puff your chest up. Left hand, right hand, I'm one with the force, the force is one with me, come a half inch off your heel. Good, when you're ready, hands to floor. Lift your hips up to reverse out and then push your hips forward. You can always come up on two feet. Perfect. Change left leg down, honor yourself, give yourself high five, fist bump, turn around, lie on your back. So Vasana, I'm going to adjust our camera angle just a little bit. We're on the floor for the rest of class. Everybody's doing great. Okay. So you're going to lie down in your space. You have a yoga mat lying on your mat or on your carpet with head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. This next pose is called Savasana and it's restorative. Bring your heels together. Let your toes fall open. Arms down, palms face the ceiling, eyes open, mouth closed, breathing normal. Take a slow inhale through your nose and a slow exhale through your nose. Pavana Muttasana, when you're moving pose. Lift your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers and grab your right shin just below the knee. Pull your knee out and down towards your right shoulder. Completely avoid your rib cage. Keep your head on the floor. Look down the center line of your body and pull. Change, right leg down, left leg up. Pull your knee out and down and hold. Keep your right leg on the floor. If your right calf doesn't naturally touch the floor, that's normal. Flex your right toes back to your face. Change, left leg down and both legs lift up. Grab your elbows each other. Give yourself a really big hug for coming to yoga today. Good for you. If you can't grab your elbows, you can start by grabbing your knees and pulling in. You can interlace your fingers, grab your wrists or forearms, eventually grab elbows. Head to floor without lifting your head. Look down the center line of your body and hold. Eventually or in the future when the bone joint skeletal system has improved the whole spine from coccyx to the neck will be flat on the floor. Change, arms down and eyes open. Second set, right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, pull your knee out and down. So you're avoiding your rib cage, you're putting pressure on your lower abdomen. This posture is good for your digestion. Push the pads of your fingers into the backs of your hands to strengthen your grip. Change, right leg down, left leg up, pull your knee out and down. So it's a good grip strengthener, it's good for digestion, and it's a good hip and shoulder opener. Try to bring your left knee closer to your left armpit. Change, left leg down, both legs up, grab your elbows each other, keep your heels in line, side by side, not crisscross. When you line up your heels, you line up your hips and by extension your spine. So slowly over time, the whole back relaxes down onto the floor. Change, arms down and eyes open, breathing in and breathing out. Next we do a straight leg sit up. If you have any concerns about your back today or a history of slip discs, I recommend sit, uh, skipping the sit-ups. You just roll off to the side and meet us on your stomach for the next posture. So you can always skip the sit-ups by rolling off to the side. Otherwise, I will show you this one from the side if you're new. Bring your legs together, flex your toes back, try to anchor your heels on the floor. Bring your arms over your head sideways, palms together, only cross your thumbs. Take a breath, hold your breath, stomach in, tuck your chin to your chest and sit up. Exhale, grab your big toes. Exhale, elbows to floor, forehead to knees. So every sit up, you're gonna round your spine a little bit more. Good, turn, lie on your stomach for the spine strengthening series, starting with Cobra, Bhujangasana, good for your lower lumbar spine. Place your hands flat on the floor below your shoulders. Bring your feet together like a cobra's tail. Lock your legs, look up and lift. Stretch your upper body off the floor, beautiful mat. Use 100% back strength. Come up halfway only, just your belly button on the floor. The rest of your chest is in the air. Elbows stay bent. They make an L a 90 degree angle. Don't forget about your cobra's tail. Keep your feet together, toes, heels touch. Lock your legs, push your feet down, hips down, hands down. Look up, chin up, chest up, stretch up, breathe up. Good, change, slowly lower down. Look to your right, left ear on the towel, 
Arms down, palms face the ceiling, toes together, heels fall open. Slow inhale and slow exhale. Second set, bring your chin forward, hands flat on the floor, feet together. Imagine you're holding a um, provisional ballot in between your feet. Don't drop the ballot. Feet together, lock your legs, look up and lift. It's easy to laugh about it. Now, hug your arms into your sides. No, it's not. I'm still crying on the inside. Drop your shoulders back and down. Bring your elbows closer to your hips. So this is a really nice chest opener and it's a great spine strengthener. Push your hands, feet down. So feet down, hands down. Squeeze your butt, hips down. Lift your chest up. Good, change, slowly lower down. Look to your left, right ear on the towel, arms down, heels open, slow inhale, slow exhale. Locust Shalabhasana, bring your chin forward, chin on your mat, arm straight position, rotate your arms so your palms face the floor, thumbs outside, pinky fingers inside. Start to bring your arms underneath you as best you can. One day pinky fingers touch. If your arms don't come under your body yet, that's okay. Keep them out to the side. Make sure palms face down. So grabbing the floor, lock your right leg, point your right toes and lift your right leg up to a 45 degree angle, half of 90, foot comes over the top of your head, lock your right leg, change, right leg down. Lock your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. So lengthen to lift. Notice if your left knee is bending or your hip is coming up, Drop your left hip down and then stretch big toe to the back wall. Change, left leg down. Third part, you guessed it, tuck your chin and mouth down. Mouth on your mat, bring your arms a little closer underneath you, spread your fingers wide. Squeeze your butt, lock your legs, point your toes, feet together, lift both legs up, come up. Everybody come up, you can do it, stretch a little harder. Don't give up, mouth down, shoulders down, triceps tight, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, lift your thighs up. Good, change, slowly lower down. Bring your arms out, releasing the tourniquet effect. Look to the right. When you release the arms, you release the tourniquet effect, fresh blood rushing through the knuckles, wrists, elbows, and shoulders. Second set, bring your chin forward, keeping the heart rate elevated. Rotate your arms, palms face the floor. Bring your arms underneath you. Spread your fingers wide like you're palming a basketball. Lock your right leg, point your right toes, lift your right leg up for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, eyes open, five, four, lock your leg, three, two, one. Change, right leg down, relax your right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes, lift your left leg up. So lengthen to lift, push your big toe to the uh, wall behind you, press your shoulders down, lift your thigh up one more inch, hold here for three, two, one. Change, left leg down, grand finale, tuck your chin and mouth down, bring your arms a little closer underneath you, micro bend your elbows, press your shoulders down, Squeeze your butt, lock your legs, point your toes, and lift both legs up. So you wanna use your hips and forearms for leverage like a seesaw. So shoulders down and legs up. Get your thighs off the floor. Lock your legs, lift it up, hold here for three. Shoulders down, two, mouth down, one. Change, left leg, both legs down, arms out. Look to the left, to the left. Everything you own in a box, to the left. Breathing in, breathing out, emptying out. Full locust, Purna Shalabhasana. Bring your chin forward, arms out to the side like airplane wings, feet together, toes and heels touch. Lock your legs, look up and lift. Arms, body, head, legs, everything lifts off the floor. Looks really good. 747, taking off just your hip bones on the floor, the rest of your body's in the air. Look up to the ceiling where your eyes go. Body knows to follow. Keep your feet together, get your thighs off the floor, lock your legs. Lift your thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up. Come up a little higher at the end. Good, change, slowly lower down, tuck in your wings, look to the right, left ear on the towel. Um, eventually arms down by your side, but if it hurts to look right and left, you can bend one or both hands up close to your face and that'll take some pressure off of your neck. Second set, full locust, chin forward, arms out to the side, feet together, lock your legs, point your toes, here we go. Lift everything up. So arms, body, head, legs, everything lifting up. This posture is so good for strengthening your back. You're strengthening all the muscles that surround your spine and it's a great shoulder chest opener. Keep your neck in line with the rest of your spine so you're not dropping your head down or jamming it back. Lock your legs a little bit more. Feet together, thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change, slowly lower down, tuck in your wings, look to the left and let that one go. As you inhale, feel the backs of your ribs expand. 
As you exhale, soften to your shoulders and chest. Ganarasana floor bow, chin on the floor, bend your legs. Eventually you will grab both feet from the outside. At first, you might grab one foot and you can also make your arm longer by taking a towel and wrapping that towel around your foot and then you can hold. Eventually grabbing one foot, eventually grabbing both feet. Squeeze your butt, point your toes, look up towards the ceiling and kick into your hands. So in these bow postures, you're always welcome to use like a strap or a towel or a blanket, something that basically just makes your arms longer. You hook it around your foot, you hold onto it and then you kick. Continuously keep kicking without stopping or intermission. You've got it, roll forward, freeze between your ribs and hips, hold still, looks good, looks really good, Elaine. Point your toes, look up, kick, kick, kick. Change, good, slowly lower down. Look to your right, left ear on the towel, slow inhale. And emptying out, slow exhale. Second set, bring your chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside or grab the opposite foot. Point your toes, squeeze your butt, look up towards the ceiling and kick into your hands. So this is the last posture we do on the stomach. It's a great back bend. It's a great shoulder and chest opener, right? It's a good way to strengthen your glutes and hamstrings and it's good for your digestion, lying on the stomach, knees in, feet out, wrist straight, look up, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, lower down, look to the left, take a breath. Good, chin forward, put your hands on the floor, push up. Come to the top of your mat and towel for fixed firm, Supta Vajrasana. I'll show you the first set from the side. So you're gonna open your knees and feet and start in tabletop position. As you're ready, walk your hands back and start to sink your hips down. So eventually your hips will touch the floor. It doesn't have to be today or tomorrow. You can keep your hands in front of you, beside you, or behind you the whole time. If you can sit between your heels with knees on the floor, then put hands on feet, right elbow down, Left elbow down, head back, head to floor, tuck your chin in, neck shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows each other and hold. Wherever you are is perfect. You want a gentle stretch to your toes, ankles, knees and hips, but never a point of pain. Change, put your hands on your feet, push yourself up, cut up last, turn around, Savasana, lie down on your back, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. As you release out of that posture, you release the tourniquet effect on the lower body, fresh blood flowing through the toes, ankles, knees, and hips. Sometimes the release from a posture is as uh, therapeutic as the posture itself. Second set, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. And you can always skip sit-ups by rolling off to the side. So second set, open your knees, open your feet. If you didn't sit down all the way in the first set, try opening your knees wider. Slowly over time, walk your hands back. If you have big calves, a tip is to flip your calves out of the way and sit down between your heels. Put your palms on your soles, right elbow down, left elbow down, head back, head to floor, tuck your chin in, neck shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows each other and hold. If that's all easy, walk your knees back together, but knees never come off the floor. Change, put your hands on your feet, push yourself up, head up last, turn around, Savasana. Breathing in and breathing out. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. So the format is we do a posture, a Savasana, and a sit up. Come to the back of your mat and towel for half tortoise, Ardha Kramasana. I'll show you from the side. Knees, feet together, hips on your heels. Arms over your head, palms together, cross your thumbs. If it hurts to sit on your feet, you can always start standing on your shins. Stretch up and go down, hinging at your hips. You're welcome to put one or both hands on the floor, forehead to floor, little fingers to floor. Tilt your pinky fingers down, get your wrists and elbows off the floor, palms together. Reach your arms forward, sink your hips down. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Change, come on up. You can put your hands on the floor and push up or arms with your ears. Good, arms down, turn around, Savasana. So when you're able, hop quickly into Savasana so you have a moment for your body to recalibrate. And then we do it again, legs together, arms over your head, flex your feet, squeeze your seat, sit up, keep your heels on the floor. Good, back to your mat and towel, second set. Half tortoise, knees, feet together, hips on heels, arms up, palms together, cross thumbs, stretch up and go down, go down slow with control. 
One day forehead touches first and then little fingers. Reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, head to floor, re-energize, reorganize, revitalize. Change, come on up, arms with ears, stomach in, nice, arms down, turn around, Salasana. The next two postures are our deepest back bend followed by our deepest forward curl. This is really like the meat of the yoga class. This is the good stuff. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. Come to the top of your mat and towel for camel ustrasana. Stand on your knees, six inches between your knees and feet. If you have tight knees, you're welcome to roll up your mat or carpet so there's extra padding under your knees. I'll show you from the side. Put your hands on your waistband spine. Thumbs outside, fingers to the floor. Push your hips forward, keep your eyes open and look up. Eventually relax your head all the way back. You're welcome to stay here. As you're ready, keep your hands on your back and go back halfway, freeze in the middle. You can stay here with your hands on your back or right hand down, grab your right heel, left hand down, grab your left heel, thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. Push your hips forward, lift your chest up, drop your head back, Look through your toes behind you. Change, put your hands on your back first. Push yourself up, head up last. Turn around, Savasana. Head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Um, let yourself feel whatever you feel. Savasana makes it better. So if that posture makes you feel dizzy, nauseous, lightheaded, heavy-headed, angry, euphoric, pissed off, you can't stop crying, it's all normal. We're stretching this big bundle of nerves, the solar plex nerve system on the front of the body. It helps us feel really good when we leave the room, but it can be a little or a lot intense when we're in it. So if that posture made you feel some kind of way, um, there is nothing wrong with you. Nobody's told you yet today there's nothing wrong with you, but there's also nothing wrong with you during the posture. So do second set, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. That's like one of the number one questions I get is, this posture makes me cry. Am I like really messed up? And I'm like, no, open your knees a little wider. It, uh, emotions are involuntary neurological responses in our body, right? Open your knees, eight to 10 inches between your knees, six inches between your feet, put your hands on your lower back. And this might be enough for today. You're already opening through your hips, your abdomen, your chest, your throat. Eventually look up, one day head back. You can stay here or go back halfway. And if it feels okay, right hand down, left hand down, thumbs outside, fingers inside. If you can't grab your heels yet, keep your hands on your back. It's safer for your spine. Hips forward chest up, head back, breathe. Change, hands to back, push up, head up last, good. Turn around, Savasana. I felt that one today. So if you did as well, I'm right there with you. Sometimes after a big event, like, um, I don't know, an election, um, we think that there will be relief once the quote unquote stressor is gone, but in all walks of life, including um, you know, what's going on in current events, like the stress will kill you before the stressor ever does, right? The stressor is the symptom, but how you deal with it is what's actually, you know, kind of emotional. So here we go, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. Does that make sense? Even if like the thing quote unquote is gone, um, we still have to process it. So this next posture is called round it. I'll show you from the side. We're gonna round our spine. Knees, feet together, hips on your heels. Make L's with your hands, like little bunny ears. And then grab your heels from the outside, thumbs outside, fingers inside, stretch up. Tuck your chin to your chest, go down. Chin tuck to chest, forehead to knees, top of head to floor, pull on your heels. Don't lose the grip, lift your hips up. If there's a gap between your knees and head, you can walk your knees up one by one, that head stays in place. If your grip is sliding off your feet, or if your feet are coming off the floor, ease up a little bit. There's very little weight in the neck and head. Change, hips down, slowly uncurl. Head comes up last, turn around, Savasana. So on a, bio on a biological level, that back bend stimulates the central nervous system. And then this forward curl, this rabbit pose, calms the central nervous system. We tell our parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system that there's no need to fight, flight, or freeze when we round forward and therefore like kind of protect the front of our body. So we very much do it in that order on purpose. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. So yoga is a really wonderful way to like train your central nervous system 
to relax a little bit, self-soothing, self-regulation. Knees feet together, grab your heels from the outside, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and round your spine, go down, forehead to knees, top of head to floor, pull on your heels, don't lose the grip, lift your hip up. If there's a gap between your knees and head, you can walk your knees up one by one, that head stays in place, squeeze your heels together, press your feet down, hips forward, shoulders up, round your spine. Chain shifts down, slowly uncurl, head up last, very nice, turn around, Savasana. Almost to the end, everybody's doing great. We're gonna do one set of head to knee with stretching and one set of spine twist. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. So we're on everybody's favorite stretch, the home stretch, right leg out to the top right corner of your mat, bend your left leg all the way in, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, turn to your right, tuck your chin to your chest, bend your right leg and touch your knee and head together. You can bend your right leg a whole bunch, touch knee and head together, interlock your 10 fingers under the ball of your right foot and flex your toes back. Slowly over time, you'll lengthen your leg, but forehead and knee never separate. Bend your elbows down, suck your stomach in, left elbow down, left shoulder down, roll into the left. Change, arms up, left leg out, right leg in, stretch up. Turn to your left, tuck your chin to your chest and go down, forehead to knee. So this is the last of our compression postures, our rounded spine postures. Slowly over time, you lengthen your leg. If your leg is straight, lock your leg, bend elbows down, elbows to floor, right elbow down, right shoulder down, roll into the right. Change, arms up, both legs out in front of you. If you're skipping, sit up, stay here. Otherwise, lay down, let your spine realign and sit up. Try to keep your arms with your ears. <laughs> Good, I'll show you this next posture from the side. Paschimottanasana stretching. Bend your knees, so come to your big, uh, big toes of your middle and index fingers, peace sign fingers, thumbs on top, and walk your hips back. In the last posture, we rounded our spine. In this one, you wanna arch your spine. Keep your chin and chest lifted, stick your butt out a little bit. Um, when we have tight hamstrings, keep your knees bent and fold forward. Slowly over time, you're gonna lengthen your legs. One day legs straight, one day legs locked. Heels off the floor, pop up your chest, stomach in and fold forward. Stomach to thighs, pull, chest to knees, stretch. One day toes and head, touch. Good, change. Come on up, stay seated for spine twists. Take a moment, identify left, identify right. Don't mix them up. Bend your left leg on the floor, touch your right heel to your left knee corner, right arm behind you, left arm up and over. Grab your left knee with your left hand. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over your right shoulder twist. Keep your right hand very close behind you at the base of your spine to stay nice and lifted and tall. If you can balance, take your right hand off the floor, grab your hip, waistband, one day inner thigh. Inhale, stretch up, stomach in. Exhale, look over your right shoulder twist, twist, twist. Good, change, unwind, swap out your legs. I'll show you from the side. Bend your right leg on the floor, touch left heel to right knee corner. You are also welcome to keep your right leg straight out in front of you. Left arm behind you, right arm up and over. Grab right knee with right hand. Rather than leaning back, keep your hand close behind you. Inhale, stretch up, stomach in. Exhale, look over your left shoulder twist. You can keep your hand behind you for balance or wrap it behind you. Grab your right thigh for the half bind. Keep spine straight, chest up, rib cage open. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over your left shoulder twist, twist. Good, change, unwind, turn around, Savasana. So we started class with a breathing exercise, or I should say we start the 26 and two sequence with a breathing exercise, and we end with another breathing exercise. So we always start and finish focusing on lung health, which I think is um, like extra nice these days. So we're gonna finish with a breathing exercise. Here we go, legs together, final sit up, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. <sighs> Wonderful, come to the middle of your mat and towel. Sit well. Um, you can sit knees feet together, hips on your uh, heels. If it hurts to sit on your feet, don't do it. Sit on your butt, either crisscross applesauce or with your legs out in front of you. If you're sitting on your butt, have your hands on the floor. If you're sitting on your feet, have your hands on your thighs. So for this version of Kabbalabhati, you're gonna exhale through your mouth. So it'll sound like this. As you exhale through your mouth, you're gonna contract your abdominal wall, like snap your stomach in. When the stomach relaxes, the lungs will open and take in air. So all you have to do is exhale. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times, sit up tall, concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun, here we go. Five, four, 
four, three, two, one. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times. Sit up tall, arms straight, shoulders down, chest up, and away we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good for you. Honor yourself. Give yourself a hug. High five. Pat on the back. Turn around. Final savasana. Close your eyes. Open your arms and legs. If you have to go, I totally understand. If you have time, make time. Join me for three slow breaths. So close your eyes. Open your arms and legs. And just allow yourself a moment of stillness. In a moment of appreciation, thank yourself for practicing yoga today. There's many times where we'd like to come and like life gets in the way or we talk ourselves out of it or whatever it is, but you made it to class, right? You did it, so good for you. Don't discount that. Take a slow inhale through your nose and a slow exhale through your nose. As you inhale, feel your heart space gently lift. As you exhale, think about emptying everything out. Inhale, maybe do a body scan. Notice what parts of your body are still holding tension. Exhale, let it all go through the exhale breath, letting go of that which no longer serves you. Picture yourself in perfect, radiant health. 